Hello friends and welcome to the unboxing of D-Link DAP1330 wireless range extender. So this is a wall plug range extender which you can use to extend the range of an existing Wi-Fi network by installing it anywhere around your home. This N300 Wi-Fi range extender gives you connection speeds of up to 300 Mbps while still being backwards compatible with your existing 802.11b or 802.11g wireless devices. So let's just have a look around the box. So here you'll find the graphical representation of how the device actually functions. So you'll find a list of features here which mentions different features like as I just said it's backward compatible with your old devices and at the back you'll find a diagrammatic representation of uh, which are the ideal spots to place your device to get the best results so let's just have a look at the contents of the box so once you open the box the first thing that you'll see is the device and since it is a wall plug device it does not come with a power adapter but you'll get some documentation along with it which includes the warranty information your quick installation guide and the Wi-Fi configuration card which contains all the details which you'll require during the configuration of your device so that's your device it has two antennas and as you can see it fits directly into the wall plug and it has a LAN port at the bottom. So you just plug your device in and put it on. It's that easy. So to configure the device, you have to find the appropriate Wi-Fi network corresponding to your device. So you can refer to the Wi-Fi configuration card which is provided with the device to find out the appropriate name of the network. So you will be prompted to enter the password for the network which will also be mentioned on the Wi-Fi configuration card. So you have to enter that password and click join. So after that let's open the web browser and enter the range extender's IP address which is 192.168.0.50. So after doing that we will be prompted with a setup wizard which will guide you briefly through the steps involved in configuring your device. So you just have to select your language and click next. So there are two ways of connecting your device to your router. One way is by clicking a WPS button on your device as well as your router, which is the simplest way. But not all routers possess the WPS feature. So there is another way where you have to connect both the devices manually. So considering the fact that not all routers will have the WPS feature, we'll go ahead and do this using the manual method. So the device is scanning for existing Wi-Fi networks, which it can extend. So once you find your desired network, which you wish to extend, you can click on it. So here you are supposed to enter the password, which you have set on your router, whose network you are planning to extend. So I'll enter the password of my router and click next. So this is the section in which you can set up a name and password for the network corresponding to your extender. You can leave the name as it is or you can change it according to your liking. I'll change it to extend underscore D link. And my password is password123 and click next. So this is where you can set an admin password for your device. By default, the password is blank, but you can set any password of your own choice which you'll have to use the next time you want to make changes to the configuration. So click next. And here it shows you a brief summary of all the settings that you have made. So you can click finish. So it will take some time for the device to reboot. And then you're done. So this is when you have to now find your network again because you have changed the name of the network and the password. So you have to re-enter the password. And once you are done with that, you will be connected to the network. So let's just quickly open the D-Link website and see 
whether we are connected to the internet and yes we are so that is how you configure a DAP1330 wireless range extender